Okay, today we're going to be talking about The Bear and the Piano by David Litchfield. All right, this is the story of a bear that finds a piano in the woods. And basically, he keeps coming back and working on it until finally he gets really good at playing the piano. Uh, and all the bears love him for it, and everything's great, and everybody's happy. And then these uh, two people discover the bear and they decide to bring him to the city, which he wants to do, to go explore. And pretty soon he becomes the famous piano bear. And he plays to sold out concerts and everything like that. Um, and, and ultimately this story turns into the bear being a little bit sad and he doesn't know what he wants to do because he misses his family and he's worried that he left them sad. And, and then he goes back to the forest where he thinks everybody has forgotten him and he's sad. But then he realizes they haven't forgotten him at all. They've actually been wait, been watching his career and are really proud of him. Uh, and so he does one final performance here at the end of the book for all the people that matter most in his life. And so it's kind of a nice story. Um, I think, boy, the illustrations are just really great. Love all of this. I love the concept of a bear uh, going to the city and having learned how to play the piano. And like, that's just a cool concept with cool visuals. Um, it gets to the end and you know the big finding is that they hadn't forgotten him and i guess that's an important message for people to think as they go away uh for kids to know that you know as you go away you're not going to be forgotten we're going to be cheering you on from the sidelines so it is an important message for sure and uh anyway liked uh, the bear and the piano and would definitely recommend it so go check it out hopefully you'll like it as much as i did thanks